So hello guys, today I want to talk about uh, on how to distinguish between a global uh, buckling mode and the uh, in the local buckling mode on uh, robot structure analysis professional as you may see here this is a global buckling mode the most critical one I would say and this is just a local mode so I made I made a one example here on a robot structural analysis professional as you may as you may see here this is the structure that I have defined let me just section legend by colors pick this I've already defined three load cases actually four load cases that load one which is just the self weight that load two which is a three kilopascal downward force in each of the levels here each of the slabs of the structure and the live load of four kilopascals shown here and this is just a uh, ultimate limit state combination uh, which which was made by times the permanent load plus 1.5 times the live load okay so now let's ask robot to make a buckling analysis which is analysis types buckling okay yes I want uh, 30 number of modes okay and now run the calculations robot is actually running the calculations so now we can uh, see here let me turn this off we can see here the buckling modes over here in uh, first we ask here for modes results type mode here we have 30 modes let's go to results diagram for bars let me close this and ask for deformation pick this is the first one apply normalize this is the first mode which is clearly global as you may see this is the mode number two which is just local you notice that the only elements that are actually moving in this mode are these steel members this X over here and also over here for the mode number two this is also a local mode okay now mode number three is pretty equal to mode number two is also local number four is local five is local this one I guess it's global let me magnify this yes it's a torsional mode as you may see here the structure is actually twisting in this direction as you may see from here so I would say that this is a global buckling mode as you may see mode number seven is also a global buckling mode you have the structure sway to the left side here mode number eight I would say it's local mode number nine it's also a sway now in the other direction which is also a global mode so in this way you can find 
and you can see which the modes are, which modes are local and which modes are global. For the global modes, you have to make sure that the critical loads, the critical coefficient, do not, doesn't, the critical doesn't have a value less than 10. You can check that here. If the value of the critical coefficient for that combination in that mode is less than 10, then you have a sway structure. And you need to be very careful about the design that you would make. So, once again, thank you for watching.